Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ASU Halftime Report. I'm Gil Tyree. Our halftime score, ASU out in front of UCLA by the score of 14-0. Let's take a look at some of the first-half highlights in this ball game. We go to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena for some of the first-half highlights. Devils lose. Yet another running back, Jerome Davidson, goes down on the first play, taken off with an ankle injury. Not to return, he was replaced by Kevin Galbraith, who had a big night. Steve Roush's great punt is fumbled by UCLA's Tommy Bennett. Eddie Cade, Bob Bratcher pounce on it, and that would set up Mesa High. Oh, look at Terry Donahue, what's going on? Mesa High's Grady Benton, a 17-yard touchdown to Peoria's Eric Gulliford, who wrestles it away from Carlton Gray. And like I said, Galbraith has added another touchdown, and right now we're at the break. 14-0 ASU out in front, UCLA at halftime. Now let's go to Memorial Coliseum, Memorial Stadium in Berkeley, California, where the Arizona Wildcats look to continue their dream season. Second half, the great defense. That's Brandon Sanders with the pick. Goes 40 yards for the touchdown. And I'm going to tell you what, the Cat fans were going crazy. Keith Gray blocks the punt. The special teams getting it done. Thomas Demps recovers it for the U of A. And that would set up George Malalulu who would score from the one from the tight final from Berkeley. Look at the catch, 24-17 over Cal this afternoon. Now to the L.A. Coliseum, a game seen right here on News Channel 3. Offensive shutdown between USC, Washington State. First half, Curtis Conway pulls a 28-yard touchdown to give USC a 21-7 lead. But the Cougars, undefeated in this ballgame, made a game out of it. In the second half, Drew Bledsoe, the straight drop back, finds Doran Pointer to cut the lead to 24-21. Great ball game. But on the ensuing kickoff, it's Curtis Conway again. Watch him weave his way through. Oh, that is incredible. Cuts the grain, goes 50 yards, and that would set up the clinching touchdown. Came two plays later when Wes Bender shows power and literally bowls over the Cougar defense. See what I mean? Trojans defend the home fort. 31-21 win over Washington State. USC plays. ASU next Saturday at Sun Devil Stadium. All right, let's take a look at the Valley National Bank scoreboard. Bill Walsh's Stanford Cardinal return to the winning side of the score with a surprisingly close 27-21 win over Oregon State at Corvallis. And the Washington Huskies struggled, but finally pulled out a respectable 31-7 win over Pacific. So who's number one? Miami's going to lay claim to it. Relatively easy time in Blacksburg, Virginia against unranked Virginia Tech. The Hokies... Here in the first half, Gina Toretto made it 17-0 on uh, that touchdown to Lamar Thomas. Then he finds his wide-open tight end, big tight end, Coleman Bell. And you get the idea, Miami wins big 43-23 over the Hokies of Virginia Tech. We continue with the Valley National Bank scoreboard for the rest of the top 25. Michigan makes a statement as Elvis Gerback throws four touchdown passes as the Wolverines 63-13 victory over Minnesota. Alabama and Gene Stallings are now 8-0 with a 31-10 win over Ole Miss at Tuscaloosa. Fifth-ranked uh, Texas A&M rallies in the second half and then hold off Baylor 19-13. Georgia big tonight over Kentucky 40-7. Freshman quarterback Tommy Frazier scored three touchdowns in Nebraska's 34-24 win. At Missouri, Colorado makes it their eighth straight victory over K-State. Notre Dame's Jerome Bettis runs for 114 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, the, as the Irish win big over BYU. And a game going on right now at the Superdome in New Orleans. Boston College big over Tulane, 17-7. They're in the fourth. Twelfth-ranked Syracuse beats Temple 38-7. Penn State rallied in the second half to beat uh, West Virginia 40-26. And here's one of the few top 25 upsets. NC State beats Clemson 20-6. Another upset. North Carolina tops 19th-ranked Georgia Tech 26-14. Shane Matthews, now the Gators' all-time leading scorer, uh, passer, as Florida beats Louisville 31 to 17 and the Big 8 this is another eye opener. The Jayhawks beat Oklahoma for the first time in 8 years and Virginia beats William and Mary 33 to 7 and Mississippi State and the SEC all over Arkansas by the numbers of 56 to 6. All right. It's time now for a timeout on the ASU halftime report. When we come back, we'll take you to the mat and introduce you to ASU's new wrestling coach. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a few. Look carefully at the following list and see if you have any of these symptoms. 
Before you check off each item on this list, turn to News Channel 3, weeknights at 6 p.m. We'll put the issues in terms you can understand so you can feel better on Election Day. But remember, if you don't get help from News Channel 3, well, at least we tried. Hey, man, it's cool. Shop at Swap Mart. Come and see what you can get for a dollar or under here at Swap Mart in Dollar World. These are a great deal at Swap Mart. Summer has great toys. We love to shop at Swap Mart and say, It's not a flea market and it's better than a mall. I shopped, I bought, and I saved a lot at Swap Mart. The indoor Swap Mart of Phoenix, just west of the I-17 freeway at 27th Avenue, one block north of Camelback. Why is the sky blue? How come grass is green? What does a concurrent resolution proposing an amendment to the Constitution of Arizona amending Article 10 Constitution of Arizona by adding Section 12 relating to state lands mean? Where do puppies come from? Welcome back to the ASU Halftime Report, everybody. I'm Gil Tyree. Once again, a score at the break. Arizona State over UCLA, 14-0. We're at halftime. Last weekend on the ASU Halftime Report, we introduced you to two, newest, two of the newest faces in the ASU coaching family, golf coach Randy Lyon and track coach Leonard Braxton. Well, tonight, they are not the only ones of the new members on the ASU coaching fraternity. Tonight, in our Southwest Airlines, top just plain smart feature, we're going to introduce you to the wrestling coach, Leroy Smith. For 18 years, Bobby Douglas was the dean of Arizona State Wrestling. In 1988, ASU reached the pinnacle of college wrestling, winning the national championship. Find a way to score from there. Now there's a new kid on the block. Douglas's departure to Iowa State paved the way for Leroy Smith to join the Sun Devil family. Well, I wanted to uh, uh, enter college coaching as a head coach in a program that had the potential to be the best. And uh, ASU has proven that, that it's possible here. And I certainly felt all the, the potential was, is here. And uh, I, I want to be associated and want to create a program that, that high, has high expectations uh, as this program does. Smith comes to ASU from the United States national team, where he coached at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs for four years. Ironically, Smith and Douglas coached together this past summer in preparing the U.S. wrestling team for the Olympic Games in Barcelona. Bobby had a lot of good things to say about his, his experience here at uh, ASU, and uh, he certainly uh, has a record to, to show for it. And. Uh, um, you know, I'm looking forward to carrying on that tradition and, and in fact, trying to take it to uh, even a uh, higher level. A native of Oklahoma, Smith was an All-American wrestler at Oklahoma State. He later got his initial coaching experience at his alma mater. Afterward, he spent two years in Switzerland coaching the Swiss national team. As a wrestling coach, Smith likes to take on a hands-on approach while making a team out of individual competitors. Uh, it's obviously an individual sport. We have 10 weight classes, and uh, I'm dealing with 10 individuals, and I try to gear my, court, my coaching toward, uh, toward the individual as much as possible. But I, I also emphasize the team concept, and uh, I feel there's a lot to be uh, gained from uh, uh, the team concept. As for his expectations this year, Smith points toward a conference title while keeping an eye on grander goals as well. The Pac-10 should be competitive. Uh, Oregon State has come on strong the last couple of years, and uh, they will. Uh, uh, they won it last year, and they will. Uh, uh should be the favorites this year, preseason favorite, but uh, uh, you know we're right behind them, and, and I feel like we'll we'll establish ourselves as the year as we get on through the year. Uh, so uh, the conference is, is a good test, but uh, uh, we will always keep our eyes on the uh, on the national championship. Sun Devil wrestling matches begin in November, and we wish Coach Smith all the best. Okay, when we return, we'll explain why some ASU students are looking to the stars. We ain't talking Hollywood either.
Is your throat dry? How about a brew? Uh, sir? You sure look thirsty. Have you got enough beer for Halloween? Well, stock up at AMPM's Halloween headquarters with 12 packs of Bud, Miller, and Coors for just $5.99 each. Hey, grab some snacks, too. Fill up for less at AMPM. Hey, guys, open up. I brought the beer. You need your brakes fixed, but your car dealer couldn't take you today? What's stopping you? Midas can fix your brakes right the same day you bring in your car. You need brakes, but you're worried about cost? What's stopping you? Right now, get 25% off Midas quality brake shoes or pads. You need brakes? What's stopping you? Your brakes can't wait. Midas today. See the Midas coupons on page two of this Sunday Arizona Republic sports section. You probably think you know all you need to know about Anison. Well, you don't know everything. Anison is such a strong pain reliever, headache sufferers find Anison more effective against stubborn headaches and regular strength aspirin. So if you get the kind of headaches that affect your work, the kind that put you in a bad mood, the kind that keep you from enjoying yourself, rediscover Anison for stubborn headache pain. Welcome back to the ASU Halftime Report, everybody. Once again, our score at the break. ASU out in front of UCLA, 14-0. We should also mention Game 6 of the World Series, Toronto out in, out in front of Atlanta, 2-1 in the eighth inning. Now, as a major university, ASU students and faculty are involved in a wide variety of studies. But one of the school's latest ventures literally, literally is out of this world. Dan Davis explains. Three, two, one. It will be almost a year before the Mars Observer rendezvous with the Red Planet, but it has already sent an adrenaline rush back to Earth and down to the ASU campus where researchers and staff have spent years preparing for this day. We were just holding our breath and when it went off, they said it was out of hitch. Without a hitch, we were so excited. I don't think it's hit us yet that it's actually gone and swifted off. This is it. Excellent, remarkable achievement. Um, it's about time the United States gets, gets back to Mars. So it's been 17 years and uh, I've been waiting a long time for this. It's uh, I think very important for this country to push back frontiers. The spacecraft will spend about two years orbiting Mars and mapping it in detail. And ASU's $20 million piece of the project is, is called a thermal emission spectrometer. This is roughly life-size, so you can use my hand for scale. The TES, as it's known, will basically use heat emissions to tell it what kind of rock and what kind of chemicals make up the red planet and also what its atmosphere is made up of. It will also measure the temperature and chemical makeup of the polar ice caps. It's, it's important to us as scientists to understand the composition of Mars and surface in particular because it helps us understand how the planet evolved uh, and how it's different from us. For one thing, it would help us figure out what kinds of resources might be available on the surface for humans to use somewhere in the future when they land there. And the ASU experiment will be controlled by this computer. The list of commands are time tagged saying, at this time, please move the, our mirror to this angle and take X number of observations. Then move it to another angle and take a, another X number of observations. And then the data will also come back here by radio into this lab. And this will be the first place that anyone on the Earth sees this data and begins to figure out what it means. I think a lot of people get blasé about the space program, but uh, if you're involved in it, you really get caught up in it. And I think even the average person in the street, they take the time to learn a little bit about it, really kind of gets wrapped up in the fascination of it. For the ASU Halftime Report, I'm Dan Davis. Dan, thank you. All right, when we come back, it's back out to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena for the second half kickoff. Can the Devils hold on to that lead? We'll go with Tim, Mike, and Jeff. Thanks for joining us on the ASU Halftime Report. We'll see you back later on.